The majority of people who protest are broke, have too much time on their hands, and they're just followers, they're copycats. So let's just be clear. You've got an incident that happened in America. It's in one particular city. All right, fine. If the other Americans in Chicago and that want to protest and want to riot, let them do their thing. Why the fuck are people in the UK protesting about something that happened in a different country? Do you want to know why? Because people, it's copycats. This sort of reminds me of the London riots in 2011. Now, I weren't around, yeah? Man was on certain holidays, yeah? Back in 2011, August. But man was watching. I was watching hard. The London riot started off in Tottenham. Man got shot. Okay, cool. If people want to protest, then all right, protest. Me, I wouldn't have been there if I was around anyway. But people want to protest in Tottenham where the incident took place. All right, cool. All right, fine. If it trickles down to local local areas like Wood Green, Edmonton, these areas are just a little walk away, isn't it? All right, cool. If the, the riots and that, you want to trickle down to Edmonton, Wood Green, that's cool, isn't it? But now nah, you got man in fucking... Manchester, Liverpool, rioting over something that happened in North London. You've got man in South London doing it. Even right now, you've got people in South London protesting. You've got people in Trafalgar Square protesting. Now, I don't know if this thing is going to turn into some kind of riot, but if people want to think that they're going to riot up in Northampton, oh, trust me, I'm prepared. I've got my rat stick, yeah? If people want to start rioting, in Northampton, this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to approach my front door. I'm going to lock my front door. And I'm going to stand guard. You ain't catching JYs protesting or rioting. You can forget that. I've got better things to do in my day. I've got things to achieve. Targets to hit. For most people, they don't really give a fuck. It might be a little anger in it, but for them... It's a day out. There ain't nothing else better to do. Sunday, fuck it. Go and protest. Trafalgar Square, peck up. One thing that pissed me off though about this, this thing that's going on in America. Obviously the people in America are saying this and so are the people in the UK and probably all around the world. There's one specific phrase. I ain't even going to repeat it because it boils my blood when I see people. And it's not even not necessarily people saying it as well. There's people reenacting. The incident, like, bro, you, you're taking a fucking piss. You're reenacting the incident. I see men who are like motivational speakers, you know, got pictures on their YouTube story of man on the floor shouting out these words. But anyone who even want to put that on a fucking plaque, you're a fucking piece of shit. You think, I swear... If you don't know it, yeah, you're mad, but I swear you you slightly find it funny here because me, even Jay Wise, but even I was vexed when I saw that video, you know. Not even gonna lie, yeah. You see me, you know me, I sit on the fence, and I just call it how I see it. And even when I saw that, I was disgusted. I was disgusted. So for people then to then go and protest and hold up these signs and reenact these scenes. I saw a picture where there's a bunch of people laid out on the floor reenacting this scene with a fucking chalk line drawn around. Bro, oh, they're taking a the fucking piss, bro. If you go out and protest and you got this sign on a plaque, your protest is invalid. You're slightly mocking what happened to that guy. But people are sick. You're sick, man. But if you if you think about going out tomorrow to protest with that plaque on your on your bill, blue board thing, but stay in your fucking yard, man. Do something with your life. Shit. You know what the wickedest thing is? You got an incident in America. Man are protesting, man are rioting in America. Cool, cut. That's where it happened, innit? You got the UK back in America, innit? Cool. They're showing their, their allegiance to America. But years ago, in 2011, when Mark Duggan got shot, I never heard about any protests in America. This is England's problem. We kiss America's ass, 
and America don't rate us, you know. They don't rate us as the UK, you know. Oh, yeah, them man. They don't rate us. They look at us like we're substitutes or them man there's 10 years behind. It's a bit like how us London, man, we look at them man there. When we hear about gangs in Coventry and all them kind of funky places there, and it was like, them C team niggas, innit? America don't rate us. So why the fuck are you backing them? They don't rate us one bit. Oh, they might like our accents or whatever, and they think it's funny, innit? Americans don't rate us. There's more people in the UK that would rather be American than the Americans be from the UK. You can believe that, I'm telling you. Stop kissing America's ass. Man, you're gonna back and defend something that happened in another country when that country there had the opportunity to do it before and they ain't done it for us? Nah, fam, don't back America, innit? Stop kissing them man there's ass. They don't rate us how we rate them. We look up to them, they don't look up to us, they look down on us. I'm telling you, it's mostly poor people and people who ain't really striving in life, you know, who are attending these protests and attending these rights. <laughs> Drake ain't there. Prince Harry ain't there. Yeah. Tina Turner ain't there. Just mediocre people that ain't got nothing better to do in their life. Broke people. They're in Peckham. Yeah. They're protesting. Yeah, cool. They're protesting in a broke area, isn't it? Now Peckham is coming up, but yeah, Peckham's still the norm, yeah. You don't see them doing that in fucking Kensington and Chelsea and them type of places there. Yeah, Blackheath, Hampstead, nah. They, the locals ain't coming out for that. Because the locals, they got sense. You want to fight this war, there's other ways to go out like fighting this war. You really want to fight this war between how black people are treated by the police, black people them, conduct yourself properly and see how the numbers of deaths significantly drop. Now, see, that incident was uncle for even Jay Wise, even me, the one who, yeah, I ain't defending black people just because they're black. Even I was like, yeah, that was uncool for it. But I don't mean all the other incidents where black people acting the fool. Yeah, that don't mean, oh, yeah, 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 the police was in the wrong then, innit? Yeah, obviously, the police would be in the wrong if they kill someone. But what I'm saying is, when they act a certain way, they might use too much force. Boy, you put yourself in that position. Is it right that someone got murdered because they told someone to shut up? No, it's not right that the person died because they said shut up to someone. But you disrespected someone and that's how they retaliate. Not making an excuse for the police's behaviour. But I'm just saying. But people know who to hype up to and protest to and riot against. Because they know, you know what the consequences are, aren't they? So, obviously in America, you got one set of people, then kill the next set of people. Now, it's happened before in the UK. People know who to hype up to and who to riot to, because they know what the consequences are, isn't it? Everyone knows who they can play with. Now, you've got gang members killing, sometimes innocent people, more so other gang members, isn't it? I'm sure if people worked out and put their brains together, put their heads together, they can work out, all right, boom. These people from this place killed someone from this place. It was an innocent person. Why doesn't anyone ever link up as a community and maybe protest or riot on these estates where these notorious things happen? Spots in Peckham, spots in Brixton, spots in Hackney. Why don't people go down to those areas, Peckham, Brixton, Hackney, and protest and riot on the estates where all these gang members are? Because you know where to find them. Them man they obey, them man they're all in their tracks telling you what role they're on and things, yeah? So you know where to find them. But people are not gonna do it, fam. Do you know why? Cause they're cowards. They know who to protest and riot against and hype up to and shout to. They know with the police, there ain't really gonna be no serious dire consequences, in it. Worst case scenario, they get locked up. More than likely, they might get sprayed with a fire hydrant. Yeah, or get a CS gas sprayed in their face. Or I might get licked down with a rubber bullet. 
Yeah, you wanna go to them estates in Peckham, Brixton and Hackney? <laughs> the man them there, <laughs> them man there backing out on you, innit? Yeah. But pe people don't wanna go down there to protest and right. Listen, the gang members them, yeah, in those areas all around London, they kill more people than the fucking police. Why aren't people going down to those estates where they know the people them is? Why are they not going down there and writing and protesting? Because they're cowards, that's why. Because they know who they can hype up to. So I don't rate no one who's fucking protesting at the moment. That's why I say it's just for broke people and people ain't doing nothing with their life. I know some idiot's going to come in the comment section afterwards and say, Oh, well, my cousin's a doctor and he's down at the protest rally. Man, that nigga there on furlough, yeah? He got free time on his hands, yeah? That's one person, isn't it? The majority of them people there... He's broke people, they ain't really doing much in their life, innit? Cause that man said, where Drake at? Hmm? Yeah? Where, where, where the people them in the royal family at? Yeah, where Tina Turner at? Where Nicole Schreisinger at? They, they, they ain't there, cause they got things going on. Yeah? So, man, I, I'd never get involved in any of these protests, any of these riots. The way to combat this thing is, <laughs> black people need to change their mindset. Yeah, there's always going to be times where they kill, the police kill innocent people. Innit? I get that. Yeah, you, you're never going to get away from that. Innit? Yeah, but you can reduce the numbers significantly if black people then conduct themselves properly when dealing with the police. The police have never rough handled me, ever. Even when a man got nicked for attempted murder. Yeah, mistaken identity, it weren't me, innit? it? They, they didn't even rough handle me and they shouted my name. They said, I am the main suspect because the police didn't know me in my area when I was a youth. And they saw me on the cameras walking around the estate after someone got stabbed up. They shouted my name. He is the main suspect. And they literally just, they, they, had, they nicked me like I was, I stole some pick and mix from the fucking shop. I know I had to deal with the police. Man, smart. <laughs> That's what I say all the time in my video. Man get away with stuff. You know when there's like that fine line between where you could get away with something when, you know, they really should give you points on your license or you could get arrested for it. Usually I win the battle and I get away with it. I know how to conduct myself towards the police. I ain't resisting arrest. So, I just don't rate people in the UK. Anyone in the UK that's protesting right now, I don't rate you. Because the people them in America... They won't do the same for us. They don't rate us. They don't respect us. They don't look up to us how we look up to them. So people don't need to think about that, man. Can't be protesting about things that are going on in other countries, man. Bro, you need to deal with your own problems, man. Anyway, Jay Wise is out. Stay wise.